Okay, let us do number C. Number C, where is it? Ah, no, number C, number F, actually. Where did I write? It's number F. Yeah. Or is it number E? Yeah, that's number F. B squared sine C plus C squared sine B over B plus C. Because then, obviously, we choose the left hand side. So, on the left hand side. So, we need sine oh, B. Right? Uh, maybe if we can change sine C to sine B. Yeah, so that it can remain a sine, but you get rid of sine C. Alright, let's see what will happen. Okay, we have b squared here. So b squared we can be written as mm, yeah, if we can say b b sine c so that we can have b sine because this one will be easy to change. Yeah, then b b times b b squared, then b sine c and as c squared. Let's leave this one for now since we have sine b and also the c. Mm -hmm. B plus c. Then b sine c on our nodes, where is it? B sine C, there it is. B sine C equals to C sine B. Right? Yeah, B sine B equals to C sine B. I did that. B sine C. What's happening with my... Yeah, C sine B. B into smaller to C sine B. Yep. Plus C squared sine b everything over b plus c therefore again so common factor that is c sine b then here this one will go out then will remain with b and then here one c will go here then then sine b will go this will remain with one c there are two c's remember c squared means two c then b plus c then uh, Oh, okay. Cancel, cancel. Then we have C. That was easy. Send B. Therefore, left hand side equals to the right hand side, which is equals to C side B. Let's go to the next section of this question, which is number two. Yeah, 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 number two. I'm not kidding, Dasha. Next video, I'll do it number two.